live with Nikki. What's everybody doing? How is everybody's 4th of July? Everybody's always having a party in here before we start. What's going on, beautiful people? What's going on, Gary? Robert? Great Smuggler? Scott? Scott again? What's going on, beautiful people? What's going on? Hot as heck in New Jersey. Gary, it is hot as heck here in Florida. In fact, we are indoors today because of one of those reasons. One of two reasons. One, it's raining. And two, it is a uh, heat advisory in Florida here. So we have a big heat advisory. What's going on? Hi, Will. Oh, Will, you're a sight for sore eyes. What's up, Booster? Yes, getting ready for iCast. Matt Jollymore in the house. What part of Florida? I'm in Orlando. I am not too far from you, Justin. Uh, I am in central Florida, so I am about an hour from you. I am by the villages, um, Summerfield area. Bacon in Michigan. Yes, it is hot. It has been crazy. So that's why we are indoors today, guys. Again, I hate doing this. I know it's an outdoor show. Uh, but some days it's Florida, and right now we have a heat advisory. Uh, we're in the 90s, and it feels like 108, 110. And the heat, our last show last week, if you guys remember, towards the end, I lost you guys. Um, it was so hot. I don't know if you guys saw me. I was kind of overheating. I shouldn't have stayed out so long. Um, I wish there was no shade around that pond, and I was trying to... I was trying to do it for you guys. I wanted to get on some fish. I wanted to just have a good time outside, even though it was super hot. I didn't want to be indoors with you guys again. And that gets a little boring, you know. It's an outdoor show. I want to show you guys some really beautiful spots here in Florida. Um, you're, you're getting storms too, Scott? It's never too hot to Robert, you're absolutely right. It's never too hot to fish. They may not bite, but it's not, you know, we could always fish. So that's always true, Robert. It's just, for me, I just... Um, you know, with the things I go through, it's just, it's hard for me to be in too long in the heat. And I really pushed it last week and I lost you guys towards the end. And I apologize for that. Uh, but I shouldn't have took you guys from where you were and brought you to the other end of the pond. Cause that's when I lost signal and I lost it. So I do apologize for that. Older folks hate the heat and cold. Gary, I must be getting older. Cause I mean, I don't hate it. I love the heat actually. Uh, but there's, you know, there's an extent of it. It gets a little too hot sometimes. Um, so we're indoors today. We're in the office. We have some, uh, beautiful AC. It feels good. Nice and cool in here. It's raining right now. Um, on and off. Actually supposed to be all night now. Um, but that's okay. Why? Because we're here. We're together. We're hanging out. You guys are giving me a few minutes. I promise you, I won't take up too much of your time today. I know we had kind of a long show last week. Um, I won't take up too much of your time today. I only have one product to show you guys today, but it's one that uh, I know you're going to be excited about. And we have a giveaway winner to announce. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm Italian and I talk with my hands. So get used to it because this is how we're going to do it forever on the show. So I hope you guys don't mind. I feel like I'm, being, I feel like I'm an interpreter for people that can't hear. So I speak through the sign language. <laughs> Did you learn the fish frog from the video? Ricky, I did. I, I was checking it out. A couple people sent me videos to learn how to frog fish. And uh, I did. I didn't, you know, obviously I didn't learn. It's going to take me a while. But I am practicing. And I'm going to send a video to you guys to show you my progress and show you how far I've gotten because of you guys. I can't thank you enough. Um, we should just continue this, you know. I mean, I love that. If we need help or somebody doesn't know how to fish a certain um, lure or a certain bait, we should all help each other. You know, if there's something I can't, you know, learn myself, you know, I want you guys to help me teach me and then we could teach, you know, everybody, you know, on the show. We could teach them how to frog fish or maybe somebody doesn't know how to tie a knot, maybe a polymer knot. That was always a little bit of a difficult one for me or, you know, whatever, some kind of knot tying or maybe casting a, a bait caster. A lot of people don't know how to do a bait caster. Um, we could help each other, we could learn, and then, you know, maybe we can teach somebody on the show. Um, because I always say this to you guys, and I know um, I keep repeating, repeating it, but it's your show. It's, it's not my show. So I want you guys involved in it, whatever you want to see. 
And that's why I do the giveaways. My giveaways to you guys are to say thank you for spending a few minutes and putting up with me for a few minutes of your time every week. And, um, you know, your friendship means a lot to me, and I love hanging out with you guys. We have a lot of fun on the show. We laugh. We cry. <laughs> we, we talk about a lot of fun stuff. We get serious sometimes, but, you know. But it's my way of saying thank you to you guys, and you guys are my friends. So let's do this show together. Let's come up with some ideas. Let's make it a really good show because I want you guys to enjoy it. I want you to come back every week. I want you to bring people back with you. You know, maybe share the show. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with your grandma. You know, <laughs> share it with your neighbors. Um, and, you know, let's, let's get together in on this because, you know, I'm trying to get the show to a point where it's not just, your everyday typical fishing show. You guys know that. I've been trying from the beginning. I want it to be something special for us. I want to explore Florida and explore, you know, around all kinds of different areas we can go, different adventures we can go on together. And I want to steal as much stuff as I can to give away to you guys. You know, I want to come up with some really good giveaways so that you guys can come down here and fish with me and we can have adventures together. So I think about this stuff all the time. So ideas, I want you guys to start coming, coming up with some ideas. Um, I want to do some things together. I want to go on adventures. And let's just have a lot of fun. But at the same time, let's try to bring everybody closer together. Because I feel like we're really close on this show. I mean, we're a close-knit we're a close -knit team here on this show. Um, and I love that about us. We're like one big happy family. And I watch you guys. We have new people come on the show all the time. And what do you guys do? You always welcome them. You always let them know if I lose you guys, you say, wait a minute, don't leave, hang on, she's going to start a new show, don't give up on her. You make sure that they wait. You guys, if somebody has a question about a price on one of the products, and you know we don't get into too much detail, you give them the price, you let them know, you tell them where to find it. I watch you guys, you know, and it really means a lot to me. And I just, I wanted to come on the show today to kind of say thank you for that, for being there for, you know, not only Cash King, but for me helping me and just being there um, and helping each other. And that, that was my goal of the show for the entire time. I just want to bring people closer together, you know. And as mushy as that sounds, as corny as that may sound to people, that is my goal. But I want you guys to help me. I need your help. I need your help. I can't do it by myself. So let's, let's come together. Let's come up with some ideas. Let's go on some adventures. Let's have some fun. Let's, let's check out some new products together. Let's do some really cool giveaways. But at the same time, let's, let's bring each other closer together. How's that sound? Aw, Grape Smuggle. I love you guys. Thank you for the week. Oh, Ricky, I thank you guys. I love you guys so much. Your messages mean the world to me. Sounds great. Awesome. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, enough of the mushy stuff. <laughs> let's move on. By the way... I missed you guys. How was your happy, how was your 4th of July? Was it a good 4th of July for you guys? Did you get out on the water? Did you do some fishing? Did you watch the fireworks? Did you spend time with your family? Did you go away? Did you just stay indoors and kind of snuggle up and watch movies? Noisy booster agree. I believe it's gotten so noisy, so bad. Um, I actually got out and I went to... A place that was on the water and I was trying to be on the beach I didn't want to be near anybody for the 4th of July because I know how crazy people get they drink and alcohol and fireworks together do not mix trust me for somebody that's been in law enforcement it's not a pretty sight so I try to stay away but I ended up going to um, a place called Eaton's Beach which is out on the water here and it, it got packed just like I thought it would um, the water was warm it really wasn't refreshing but it was nice um, they had skydivers literally dropping out of the sky into the water right in front of me and then swimming over to a boat and then being picked up and taken to the beach. So we had like, I don't know, it was like eight or nine skydivers and a lot of kids and a lot of craziness. But I ended up, you know, hanging out for a little bit and then I went back home and I smoked some salmon and I just hung out at home, played some games outside, came into the AC, you know, nothing crazy. We should pick a night and do a get-together at ICAD. Matt, I would love that. I would love that. I want to bring, can we bring these guys though, Matt? We can always bring these guys. They're our friends. So as you guys know, we have ICAST coming up. We have so much to talk about. Fish and barbecue. That's awesome. That's, that's the best 4th of July. Fishing and barbecue. 
Hey, Nikki. Hey, everybody. What's going on? David Brooks in the house. What size paper do you use to roll the salmon? Um, Booster, I had somebody uh, make it for me, so I'm not sure how they do it. Um, I just got to pick out the wood, <laughs> and it was pretty cool. I picked an oak wood for it. Um, I'm new to the, to the smoking, so if you guys have any ideas or recipes, I would love them. I'm just learning how to do it. Bad pun. Booster, I love you. Booster says you smoked it. Bad pun. <laughs> Wish I could go. Hey, Nikki was watching SpaceX. Oh, Uncle Yukon was watching the SpaceX. We have those launches. It's so much fun. I used to be able to watch it like right in the backyard when I lived um, over in the other Swiss Creek. I bet the smoked salmon was awesome. Scott, it was really good. It was amazing, actually. <laughs> um, but that's great, guys. You had a good time. That's all that matters. I use my pellet grill to smoke it. Gary, that's a good... I want a pellet grill. I want one. Maybe, maybe soon sometime. Um, but yeah, it was great. It all, you know, like I said, 4th of July is, it's really special and it's nice to be with your family and your friends and your loved ones. Just nice to share it with them. Um, kind of hang in the AC. I made some sweet tea, some sun tea. Um, that's pretty good. I love that. Last week made it with some mango. That was really nice. So I just kind of hung out at home. Um, I wasn't feeling the greatest, but I wasn't feeling bad, if that makes any sense. So I just kind of wanted to stay close to home and didn't do much. Uh, but it was nice. It really was. Uh, spend it with some good people. I have a pellet grill. You can do your cooking show. Kirk, I love that idea. I'm, I'm down. We could catch the fish and then cook it on the grill. Let's do that. Maybe we could put a pellet grill on the product development list. Scott says he's going to make a pellet grill, guys. Hold him to it. Hold him to it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uncle Yukon giving the coordinates. That's awesome. Yeah, it was, it's cool to watch the SpaceX launches and to be able to see them from where you live. Um, but yeah, definitely, guys. So we have ICAST coming up. That's another announcement I wanted to make for you guys. You guys already know it's, it's a big show here, and I live about an hour away from it, so it's pretty cool. So I'll be gone for about a week. Um, but I'm going to do the show from ICAST. But here's the catch, guys. You guys know we have Bill Dance with us, right? Bill Dance is going to be working with us at ICAST. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's still surreal to me. Um, but I want to do a live show with Bill Dance for you guys. Here's the problem. He's only going to be in the booth certain times. You know how it is with those guys. they got to sign autographs. They're going to be dragged away, literally dragged away to other places. We can't keep them forever. Um, come on, see that. Yes. Scott, put the booth down number 5108, guys. That's our booth number. Um, if you're going to be around, you can come see us at, at that booth number. Uh, 5108, Scott wrote it down. Um, we're going to be there for the week. Come on out. If, if, you can, if you can get in there, if you know people and you can get in there, come see us. I mean, we would love that. Take some pictures, have a little fun. Um, but I want to get back to the issue with the live show. I have to figure out a day to do the live show because if he's not going to be available Wednesday, I don't want to do the live show on Wednesday. Let's do it when he's available, and it might be a, a little window from like one to something. As soon as I know and as soon as I can track him down and get a hold of him, I will put the information on my Fishing Frenzy Live Facebook page. I will put it on Instagram. I'll put it as much of any place I possibly can to get the announcement out to you guys. You guys just have to kind of Hopefully, you can do it live. It's going to be like 1 o'clock or something. Um, but if not, you guys could always catch the, you know, catch it again, watch it later. Um, but I would really love to do a live with you guys and Bill Dance. I don't know how I'm going to make it happen, but I'm going to make it happen some way or another. And I wanted you guys to come up with some questions you wanted to ask him, maybe some something you wanted to tell him. I could tell him for you. Um, and then I was going to do a giveaway, too, for my cast. So... Hopefully you guys that week, um, you know, next week, hopefully you guys will be around. Hopefully we can watch, do the live show together. If not, you can catch it on later. Um, but just know that that's coming and I don't know what day it's going to be. So we might not have the show Wednesday. It might be like Thursday or Friday. Robert says he knows I got you guys. I got to meet Bill Dance at the Bassmaster Classic last year. Isn't he amazing, Patrick? Isn't he a really down to earth? I mean, doesn't he, he's different from all the rest. To me, he is. He seems so much more personable. He'll give you big hugs. He'll give you a kiss. I mean, give me a kiss. <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll, 
I mean, the guy will give you his shirt off his back. He is the nicest guy. And to me, that separates him from the rest. Not that there's not other good fishermen or nice fishermen out there, but he's just, I don't know. He just seems so different, so personable, just down to earth. And you just want to give him a big hug all the time, which I do. <laughs> Donuts on me. Robert, Robert Green. Robert brought us, brought, well, he brought them for me, but I shared them with everybody. Uh, donuts to ICAST last year, Krispy Kreme. Oh my God, he was, it was so amazing. You were like so hungry. We we're trying to set up like, what are we going to eat? How are we going to eat? We don't have time. Here comes Robert with a big box of Krispy Kreme donuts. Here you go, Nikki. I'm like, Robert, I love you. I love you so much. Give me a big hug. <laughs> and then of course I had to get those Krispy Kreme donuts past Scott. I had to get them past Jose. I had to get them past Al. I had to, you know, I'm sitting there like, like, like munching on a bunch of them. Good evening from Raleigh, North Carolina. What a beautiful, beautiful area. I love it. I love North Carolina. The donuts are not just for you, Nikki. You cannot eat two dozen donuts. Scott, how do you know I can't eat two dozen donuts? Just because I'm skinny, does just because I'm skinny doesn't mean I can't eat two dozen donuts. And I might hold you to that. We might do like a, a an eating contest <laughs> on the live show. <laughs> Uh, seriously, I don't know if I could eat two dozen donuts. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Nikki, sorry I'm late to the party. That's okay, JT. We're just kind of getting into into things. We're talking about uh, iCast. Uh, I bet she could. Thank you, Matt. You know, I know I'm skinny. I know I'm skinny. But everything I eat goes to my butt. All right, I'm just one of those lucky girls that it doesn't hit the stomach, and I end up having, I do have a six-pack. I'm proud of that. I worked hard for this six-pack. But everything I eat does go to my butt. So, I don't know, call me lucky, call me whatever. High metabolism, Ricky. Yes, absolutely. I was born, <laughs> literally, I was. Um, I could, guys, I could eat. And, and people don't believe me until they sit down and eat with me. But I can eat. I can ask some of the guys. They'll tell you. I don't see skinny. I see little with. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Give two dozen donuts to be keep stealing Scott's stuff. <laughs> oh, God, I love you guys. Did I tell you guys how much I love you? Okay, enough of me wasting your guys' time. I know you have better things to do. Better late than never, they say. Hello. What's going on, Joshua? It's all right. Like I said, we're just kind of, uh, I was just telling JT, he just kind of came in. We were just talking about iCast. We're just getting into the show. We didn't even show the new rods yet, um, but we're going to show them in a second. I saw the little cheek, I'm just saying. <laughs> little? What do you mean little? That's a big cheek. <laughs> Y'all making me hungry. I know. I'm sitting here talking about Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm starving. Well, I'll let you guys go eat, but let's get on the Asagi rod. You guys ready to check these babies out? Alright, so I have two. I have the spinning and the bait caster. So they send me two of everything usually. Um, but if it's the rods, I always get the, and you guys know it's, it's very hard, difficult in here because we are, but I will do the best I can to show these to you. I know the lighting's not great because we're in the office today, but bear with me. Um, anything you guys want to see on the rods up close, I'll be happy to let you guys see them. Um, and any information you want to know about them, we will talk about them. But these are the Asagi rods that we just came out with. Guys, these rods are amazing. So you know our Speed Demon rods, right? Our line of Speed Demon rods. These are better than our Speed Demon rod. So let's just start with that. They are a high-end fishing rod. These rods, they're meant for fishing, bass fish, fishing, right? Bass fishing. There are 15 bass fishing technique rods. So there's rods specific for each technique. How cool is that? So we have a cranky rod, which is crank, crank baits, right? Then we have a, um, we have, they're, they're kind of funny names. We have one called the sniper. We have one called the jerk, which is obviously what's that? The jerk bait rod, right? This one's called the I'm cranky and it's a crank bait rod. And this is the, um, bait caster rod right here i'll show you guys this up close so of course you get your tags i've been waiting on since march to get my hands on them aiden i'm telling you right now don't miss the chance 
on grabbing these, okay? No, I have not fished with them yet. I just got them. You can see the tags are still on them. And I kind of just stuck one of our uh, Mega Jaws reels on this one, but I don't have the reels for these yet. Um, but I know about these rods. I've studied them to talk to you guys about them. I've studied them to talk about them in iCast. We really spared no expense when it came to these rods. They are made with a high modulus material. They beat the Speed Demon rods. They beat, I'm telling you right now, Cat King set the bar when they came out with these rods. Just take a look. Look at that real seat, right? Look at the cork handle, the drop, stop, drop shot style hook right here. I love, love, love the color, the black and white. I do love that. Very classy to me. Um, JT Fishing, they are heavy duty, but they're not heavy. They're not heavy at all. I know they look like that. Super, super light. Um, I'll tell you everything that they're made of in one second. I just want to kind of figure out how to give you guys. There we go. So look at those guides there. You guys can see a little bit of a close up. So there's 15 technique specific bass fishing rods. So there's 15 techniques. So you have cranking, jerk bait, you know, all the techniques. And each rod is designed. Each one is designed for that technique, guys. So if you're, you know, you want to use a jerk bait rod, the jerk rod, um, it's specifically designed for jerk bait. That's what I love about that. That sets it to me aside from everything. It's not just an all around rod. It's set for each technique. But the guides, check these out. The guides are tangle free K frame guides. So they're tangle free. So you're not going to get anything wrapped around. Nothing's going to be tangled in there. Look at that. Look at those guides. They really, honestly, guys, they spared no expense on these. Um, so you got the drop, drop shot style hook keeper, which I love. I love that style. It doesn't get caught on anything. It's not in the way. It's down here. Um, you know, sometimes you walk past, you know, they're on the boat. You get your pants hooked in them, and I hate that when they're up here. I love the drop shot style hook. I'll say it forever for the rest of my life. Um, and I also love the hook keeper that we have on the new Spartacus rod uh, because it's built into the rod. Um, and I like that. So custom cork handle, that you guys could see here. I love the cork handle. Look at that style. How cool is that? Um, powerful and sensitive guys. These rods are very powerful, but very sensitive. You're going to feel every tick at the bottom. You're going to feel everything that, that jumps it, um, and latches onto it. You're going to feel it. Um, what else I want to tell? Oh, tournament performance. These are meant for tournament fishing guys you are getting rods that are for tournament fishermen um but designed specifically for each technique and made for the everyday fishermen so it's affordable for you guys carbon fiber component so all the components are carbon fiber which you guys know are top top end you guys see here I'll open it up a little for you so get a little close up you see it says i'm cranky um and it's going to give you all the information you need there but these are just a really, really good rod, guys. No line getting caught on them things. I'd love to have my line get caught on a fish. Had that happen. The fish wrapped in my line. Oh, Uncle Yukon, I can't stand that. Aiden, uh, is it a triple A cork? Um, that I'm not sure. Let me ask Scott. Scott, do you know? Is there a finesse casting option? I'm guessing. No, no, because we have the, ke yeah, David, we have the Kestrel, so. Thank you, Moser boy. Yeah, so. Andre. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Scott says they are, Aiden. Um, so again, guys, this one's the I'm Cranky. So this is your crankbait rod right here. You guys see this? This is a seven foot, by the way. Seven foot, and it is a medium. Seven foot medium. And again, it's the crankbait rod, but this is the uh, bait caster. Then, I want to show you guys this. Check this out. So this is the... Spinning rod, obviously. This one is called core spinning. So that's your technique for this one. It's a core spinning rod. And you're going to see that right there. And again, you're going to get all... When is the surf rod coming? Peter, I'm not sure when the surf rod is, but I can find that out for you. Um, 
And here's the cork handle again, that drop shot style hook keeper. And as you guys can see, I have the Mega Jaws, the new Mega Jaws um, on here. The Mega Jaws Elite. I love that. I just thought it'd be a good setup for the core spinning reel. I thought this would, not only will it act good, but it's going to look good too. Doesn't that look good? The purple and black with that. I thought that'd be a good setup. Um, but I really love this. I keep looking at this. Look at that inlay on that cork handle. It's really, really nice. Again, guys, they really spared no expense. Um, they went all out for you guys when it came to these rods. They wanted to come up with a line that was like our Speed Demon rods. Um, not a line, but a line of rods that are like our Speed Demon rods. And they wanted to um, kind of outdo it, you know, make it even better for you guys. Um, so like I said, it's made from that high modulus material. Um, you have uh, very powerful, but very, very uh, light rods that you could use all day and not tire of using, um, but very powerful. They have a really nice backbone, so they're going to be able to lift out those beasts for you guys. Look at that. Um, not a two-piece. They are all a one-piece rod, um, and they are just really, really good. I am so excited about these guys. These are really going to kind of set the bar here, um, and they're going to kind of, they're going to sell quick. I'm letting you guys know. They're going to sell pretty quick, so if you are interested, if you're looking for a new line of rods, or you just want to get one to try, um, I believe they are $159, correct me if I'm wrong, on Amazon. You can go and grab them. Jose told me about these a while back, and they're finally here. Yeah, uh, we've been talking. Remember, I, I've mentioned them a few times. Um, i got to be careful on some of the things I do tell you guys because a lot of it's not supposed to be out, but you guys know I can't keep my mouth shut. Besides, you're my friend. So, um, I'm not sure about the surf rods. And Scott says, yes, they're 159 149 to 169 Aiden says. I seen them on Amazon for uh, the one I looked at was 159. <clears throat> yes, Vincent. Yeah, definitely the white is nice. I like that. But if you're if you're interested, but you're on the fence and you don't know if you should go, take my word for it. Go for it. Um, again, I'm not just sitting here pushing products on you guys. You know, it's not what I do. But you wouldn't be disappointed at all. And if you are. You tell me, and I'll pay you <clears throat> for the rod. I wonder how they compare to my Dobbins rods. Scott Hooten, I'm, I've never fished any Dobbins rods before, um, uh, so I'm not going to compare it for you because uh, I don't have a, I don't really have a leg to stand on to compare it for you. I've never used them, but uh, all I can do is back up, you know, my company, and I just, I really, really, really love our products. You guys know that I wouldn't sit here and promote them to you if I didn't. And if I didn't believe in them, I wouldn't. Um, but please, at least try it. And maybe you know somebody that bought it. Try it. If not, buy it. Because, you, again, if you're needing a rod, you know. But these are really great. They're, they're tournament style. They're meant to be, you know, used rough and tough, out all day on the water. Um, in fact, that's how they were uh, tested. So, Scott says Dobbins are his go-to, but he'll see one to see how it compares. Scott, please do. Definitely try it, and then come back and let us all know. Let us, seriously, and don't hold anything back. If it's better, it's better. You know, I mean, if it's better in a certain way, if it's not better, go try it um, and compare it to the Dobbins. Let us know uh, with how you feel, honestly, because that's what we're here for. Uh, Gary says he, they, they're all listed on uh, Amazon. Um, Scott says he has more casting reels than rods. I do too. As you can see, I have all these empty rods. <laughs> you can see my last comment about Dobbins. Oh, Uncle Yukon, hold on. My various Dobbins rods are great. The Cast King rods compare greatly. Thank you, Uncle Yukon. Uncle Yukon says they compare greatly and... and it's just good to know. Maybe the, the Dobbins rods, maybe they're better in uh, another way. You know, maybe it just feels better. Maybe, you know, everybody has their own special 
part. Every company has something that might be better than the next. Um, I'm not going to sit and bash a company or be one of those people that say, our products are better than such and such products. You need to buy our products. You know, we're so much better. We're, you know, we're a hundred percent better. And, and I'm not, have you, have you guys ever seen me do that? It's just, I'm, I'm not like that. I don't do that. I'm honest with you guys and open. And I can't sit here and talk a bunch about it because obviously I haven't fished with them yet. There's tads still on them, but I'm going to be fishing with them. Um, and I will come back with a uh, better review for you guys, but there's other people, um, that do have them and that I've talked to about them in the company and it's nothing but great stuff. And I mean, just everything about it. Nikki, you're supposed to say yours is better. <laughs> I know, but a lot of people do that, you know, um, the mine's better, you know, you need to buy mine, you know, how could I sit there and say that, you know, if I never even fished the Dobbins rod, I can't, it, it'd be lying. And I just, you know, I want to be honest with you guys. You know, do I think mine are better? Yes, I think mine are better. I think our casting products are better. Um, I think the, the soggy rods will compare greatly, as Uncle Yukon said, to any other rod. Um, but it's up to you guys. You guys have to try it. You guys have to go and try it and see for yourself. I could sit here all day and tell you how amazing our products are, but you guys are not really going to know unless you try it, right? So take it from me. You guys know I always back up casting 100%. If I don't like something, I do tell you guys. I will tell you, and I have told you. Um, but these are, these are really good rods, guys. They, like I said, they spared no expense. They went all out for you guys on these. Um, and so you're not going to be disappointed. I'm, I'm telling you that right now. So. Um, oh, yes, absolutely. And moving bait where you want that little extra give on the tip. Absolutely. If they're better than the Speed Demon series, as Scott and Nikki say, they are phenomenal. Thank you, Will. Um, and yes, they are. And not to knock our Speed Demon. Our Speed Demon are great. It's just we made these ones even better than the Speed Demon rods. So we wanted something that, you know, we go all, all out for tournament style um, that, you know, tournament fishermen can use and, you know, be proud of and confide in and know that they're not going to have issues with. We wanted to make that for you guys, the everyday fishermen. So that's what, that's what we did. Yes, Ricky, that's what it's going to say on your package. Greetings from Indonesia. Hello, Indonesia. I have eight rods, six are casking, the other two get no play. David, that's awesome. David says, he has a bunch of rods, eight of them, and um, are casting, and the other ones, the other two he has, they, they don't even get used. So that just goes to show you, you know, about how much better casting is. But that, again, that's all up to you. They are lighter and higher modulus for making them more sensitive. So that's what I was saying when I told you guys it's made out of a high modulus component. It's more sensitive. So they're just better made, better material but they're more sensitive too at the same time. So you're going to be able to feel every tick at the bottom, everything that comes across and hits your rod, you're going to feel it. Um, and you're going to feel it with this beautiful, nice real seat too. I like the real seat in these rods. And again, that cork handle does it for me. I don't know what it is about the cork handle. I love the feel of it. love the style of it, the look of it. Um, they are just really, really great rods, guys. Um, and again, that K-frame, that no tangle K-frame for the guys, Let's see if I could show you guys a little bit up close on that. Look at that. Look at those guys. There we go. That's better. You could just see. Look at that. Really, really beautiful. And again, if you guys want any more close-ups or you want, you know, better styles, you have any more information, we do have them out now. You can find them on Amazon. But if you want any more deeper information about them, you can ask Scott or you can ask myself. And anything I don't know, I always go and find for you guys. But always leave me comments because I love reading them as well. So those are the new products I wanted to show you guys today. Um, I was so excited about this. You guys saw it here first. Um, they are out now. And um, please go check them out, guys. I'm telling you right now, you won't be disappointed. If you're in the market for a nice set of, it doesn't have to be a set if you just want one. Um, but a good rod that's going to last forever, that's 
um, strong, can hold up to the weather, can hold up uh, to the outdoors, that you can be comfortable with every day, that's made from um, really strong component, like the high modulus material, um, something that's sensitive, um, something that looks great, um, but just a really all around great rod that's got 15 specific techniques. So whatever you're looking for, they made. You're looking for a crankbait rod, you're looking for a jerkbait rod, you're, they have it all in all your techniques. And each rod is made for that technique. So think about that. Each rod was made for each technique. So it wasn't just like an all purpose, all around rod, and then they slapped on crankbait rod or they slapped on a jerkbait rod. No, they made each rod to be specific for jerkbait, to be you know molded and made perfectly so that it's great for a jerkbait rod, so that it holds up. So when you pop that jerkbait on that rod and you go out there and you're out there fishing with it, like that, you guys like that? That's my, that's my jerkbait rod. Uh, when you're out there fishing with it, um, it's going to hold up to, to its end of the deal. Um, that it is each rod is specifically designed, designed for each technique. So that's what I love about it too. Like I said, they didn't just slap on crankbait rod and say, here you go. It's specifically designed, designed for crankbait. They, they didn't do that. They really worked really hard, guys. And, and that's, again, that's what I love about casting. They spared no expense. They didn't slap on cheap materials. They didn't slap on, you know, uh, like I said, crankbait and called it a crankbait rod. They really worked hard for you guys. And that's why I'm proud of this company. Yes, Ricky, they are Fuji guys. They're Fuji guys, um, but they have that K-frame, um, no tangle. So you're not going to get anything tangled um, or wrapped around the guys in there. Is managed by premium Fuji K frame guys with alkanite rings for smooth casting and durability. Uh, Gary wrote it. Check out what Gary wrote. David says personally for him, the Resolute rods are awesome. I love the Resolute rods. Do I have it here? No, I think it's in my truck. Yeah, I don't have one in here, but I love the Resolute rods too. Aiden, they're on the website now. I you can find them now. Um, they should be on Amazon. But you want to know when they're going to be on Casking? I thought they were on there now. The Casking Royal Legend Reel. Wait, you're, I lost your message. I'm sorry. Uncle Yukon, I love you. <laughs> what would you, Royal Legend Reel? What is the right partner for this? Are you asking like what what's the right rod to use for the Royal Legend reel? Does anybody have any um cool ideas? They're asking what I can't read their name. See gone wrong fishing. Um they're asking they have for casting, they have a casting Royal Legend reel. What is the right partner for this? You were going to message me a couple of weeks ago. I think we failed to exchange contact info. But um, but we'll get out. Anything you guys have or any questions, just leave me a comment. I'll get back to you guys. You always know that I love reading your comments. Where else select for the Royal Legend Reel? David, you're right. And we have one. No, I have the Royal Advantage. The Royal Advantage is good, too. Nikki stole his computer. The Royal Legend Rod is nice. <laughs> yes, the Royal Legend Rod is a great partner. The Royal Select. The Royal Advantage, check those out. Um, the Royal Advantage is two piece. Um, so it's, it's all depending on what you're looking for. If you're pond fishing, lake fishing, it depends on, on what you're looking for, what kind of, or Royal Select. <laughs> Thanks, Ricky. <Mwah. laughs> oh, I love you guys. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm joking around, taking up too much of your time. But these are the Asage rods, guys. They are going to be a game changer for sure. And if you have any questions on these, please, ask away and I will get back to you as soon as possible um, but if you are looking check them out guys they're really really great rods um, all right moving on we got a giveaway winner to win now we got a giveaway thanks I'll shoot you a quick email oh you're talking to Scott okay all right guys we did a giveaway last week if you didn't watch the show last week we 
it's just shame because we had a lot of fun outside on the pond. We didn't catch anything. It was really hot. I got overheated, and then I lost you guys at the end. But it was worth it because it was nice. It was nice to be outside with you guys. Um, we were doing the our new finesse rods, uh, our kestrel rods, and I am so excited about those. Those are going to be amazing. I think I have. Uh, nope, they're in the truck too. Um, but we did a giveaway on the rods, on the Kestrel rods. And I have a giveaway winner for you right here. And I want to let you guys know when you win, you can pick, obviously, you want a spinning or bait caster. You can pick the setup. Um, 85 now? God, Uncle, you kind of wish it was 85. It's like 98. <laughs> and then we lost you. I know, I know. I shouldn't have moved you guys. But you were so far away, I was down at the other end, and I wanted you guys to see the water. I wanted you to see the fish. You could see the fish, and I wanted you to see the sandhill cranes and see what happens when I want to show you guys things. I take it, and then next thing you know, I lose the signal. But at least it was at the end, not the beginning. Try 105, Kurt. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know it got up that high. My gosh. We cooled off a little bit after the rain here, so it's not as bad, but... So we have a giveaway winner for those Kestrel rods. You guys ready? Drum roll, please. Bam! Our giveaway winner for the Kestrel rod is J.M. Young, 1726, is the winner for the Kestrel rod. Let me say that again. J.M. Young, that's J-M-Y-O-U-N-G, 1726. That's their name that they had. Congratulations. You won the Kestrel rod. Make sure you email Jessica at ePoseidon. We'll write it down here. Scott will write it. You can find it. Um, email Jessica. Tell her you won uh, last week. Tell her you won the Kestrel Rod and let her know which one you want. And make sure uh, you give her your address, your name, all the information uh, so they can get it out to you ASAP. Again, congratulations, guys. I was so excited to do those Kestrel Rods and to do a giveaway on them. Uh, it's been really great doing these giveaways. I'm so excited, guys. So we're just going to keep it going. Um, you know, every holiday, I usually do a big giveaway, do four or five items. Um, but usually, every week, we always do a giveaway. Um, so we are going to do, you guys come back next week. We're going to be at iCast, okay? And at iCast, we're going to have some new stuff there that we're going to show you guys and, you know, open up and talk to you guys about. And I'm going to do not only Bill Dance, I'm going to probably, I'm going I'm to see if I can get him to pick the giveaway. Um, we'll see how it works out. But we're going to do a giveaway from iCast for you guys. And I'm going to do a big one. So we might do a couple items or we just do, um, might do a really big giveaway item for you guys. I changed my name for the giveaway. Gary. <laughs> oh, I love you, Gary. <laughs> Great show. Got to run. All right, Gary. Love you. <laughs> Congrats. I was waiting until the show to see if I could get lucky, but I'm about to hop online order one. David, that's awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> You're going to give me an eye reel? Who knows? Who knows? You got to come next. You got to come back next week uh, for the show. And who knows what we can give away? You know, you guys know eventually I'm going to give away that eye reel. Uh, it just may not be next week. I don't think I can get my hands on one for myself. I'm going to try to steal as much as I can for you guys to bring back to talk about and show you guys. Steal as much as I can to show you guys while we're there. Um, and I'm going to get my hands on as much stuff as I can. And I'm going to try to do as much of a big giveaway as I possibly can for you guys. If I can do an eye reel, I'm going to do it. You know I'm going to do it. You don't even have to ask. Um, because I love you guys. If you're looking for a giveaway ideas, Bill Dance autograph casting hat would be cool. Scott Hooten. That was already on the list. Um, you gave away the, the whoa, one of my ideas. No, I'm kidding. Um, but that's a really good idea. That's what we're going to do. I was going to either have one of his um, hats, but I wanted to do Cast King so that uh, he could have him signed, which I do. I have the, you guys seen it? I had him sign the Cast King hat here. Um, so I will do that for you guys. I will have him sign um, a couple hats. And even if we don't do it there for the giveaway, I'll take them home with me. And we will do a giveaway uh, the next week. And I'll, I will personally ship them out to you guys. So that was kind of like a present for you guys I wanted to do. Um, but I'm going to do that on top of another giveaway. So we'll, we'll do something really special for you guys, okay? And if you're in the area, please stop by booth 5108. I want to see you guys. 
Um, Oscar, thank you. And again, congratulations to the winner. Get the whole casting crew to sign the hat. Scott, that's a good idea. I didn't think of that one. That's a really cool idea. I like that. Um, yeah, that's everything, guys. Remember, we have iCast coming up. I hope you guys had a wonderful, happy 4th of July. Check out these Asagi rods. Um, they are amazing rods. If you have any questions about them, please let me know. Congratulations to our giveaway winner. And thank you guys for congratulating every time we have a giveaway winner. That is really kind of you guys to do. It makes people feel welcomed. You guys always make people feel welcomed. The energy is really great. And I just really love our little family. I love you guys so much. Um, but thank you for stopping by. 5108, if you can come by, guys. Scott says, great stream. Thank you, Uncle Yukon. Um, I'm real excited, guys. Next week, iCast. So we won't have a show until iCast. So I'll let you guys know what day it's going to be. Might not be Wednesday. Um, and we're going to get Bill Dance in there. Um, and we're going to have a great time, guys. All right? I love you guys. Thank you for making me laugh. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with me. And congratulations to our winner. And guys, stay safe out there. Happy 4th. And I love you guys. Keep grinding, stay strong, always stay humble, and as always, keep on fishing. I'll catch you guys in the next adventure.